Well, I'm hoping the feeling is right, too, and I'm soon going to find out. Judgment Day, 731-2014 on the Jason Lewis Show and America's Mr. Right. All over the continent of Europe, there are castles. Castles that children are taught to admire. But these monuments are not shrines to liberty, but a stark reminder of an oppressive past that we are quickly forgetting. You see, these elaborate fortresses were built to honor the riches of royalty. But such wealth was not derived from the cooperation of capitalism, but from the conquest of collectivism. It was stolen through taxes and fees collected from the serfs. It was not earned. We have apparently learned little from history, for today we have our own royalty dressed up in the robes of compassion, a false altruism that merely enables the mob and crushes the individual. We have erected a shrine called the welfare state, and as a result, we now resemble a nation with more takers than makers. Crony capitalists who preach the virtue of community service while acting like economic parasites who live off the system. Indeed, the real entrepreneurs are no longer valued. Only the political ones who loathe them. Profit is a dirty word, while one's obligation to society relegates the most productive to second-class status. We are, it seems, endlessly told to live for others. Endlessly told. Taxes are patriotic. We're told to apologize for our own existence. The pursuit of happiness has been replaced by the mandate of self-sacrifice. This is not freedom. It is tyranny. And so, we, I, you, are faced with a choice. A choice that all people in all times must make. To fund the beast or to starve the beast, to host the parasite, or walk away. To participate in a system that punishes the value of your own existence, or to boycott that system. Ladies and gentlemen, I have now chosen the latter. They can now feed off one another. I quit. Um, Jason? Jason, 